Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the best headphones that you can get for pretty much any studio setup. <laughs> So I went on the hunt to find the best headphones that you can get for pretty much any setup. Whether you have a home studio setup, you're gaming, you're podcasting, you maybe just listening to your favorite playlist on Spotify, doesn't matter, all these headphones will do the job for you. But there are a few things to keep in mind before making your final decision and one of those things are trying to find the right headphones for your specific scenario. Whether you are mixing, tracking vocals, gaming, podcasting or just listening for pleasure, it's really important to keep these things in the back of your mind when making your final decision and in today's video we're going to be looking at the five best headphones that you can get for your setup focusing on the price the overall build quality and comfort the overall sound and frequency response the additional features that come with each pair of headphones and an overall idea of which headphones are best for each individual scenario starting off with the audio technica m30x headphones these headphones are really exceptional and great for the price retailing at around 69 dollars and in terms of build quality and comfort I must say that they feel so so good they are still quite plasticky and they aren't as solid as other headphones on this list but they are the cheapest on this list and overall at this price range I don't think you will get a better build quality but the comfort is good it is slightly tight around the ears but other than that, it's really, really nice and really, really comfortable. In terms of frequency response, I must say that I was quite surprised by how flat these headphones are. They aren't extremely flat. There are some areas on the frequency bandwidth that are enhanced, but I must say overall, they sound really, really good. Great for a home studio setup and for gaming and maybe podcasting and things like that. It's really, really good. There are some enhancements on the bass side of things, but other than that, these headphones are really, really great in terms of their overall sound. In terms of additional features, the Audio-Technic M30X headphones do come with a leather style bag which is really nice especially if you're on the go and it's really nice to have an additional feature like a bag at the price range of $69. Overall like I said I think these headphones are great for all uses whether you're gaming or in a podcast type fashion. Podcasting it would work nicely but if you are podcasting for around an hour or an hour and a half I think they will squeeze your head a little bit too much and you will get irritated maybe even get a headache. But other than that, great for the studio. They have a nice long cable, which is great for people recording if you want to get the vocalist away from the desk. So overall for $69, the best pair in that price range. The next headphones that we're going to be looking at are the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. And these headphones retail for around $99 a pair. In terms of build quality, they aren't amazing. They are still quite plasticky and they won't last you more than two, three years unless you take really good care of them. But in terms of comfort and overall feel, I must say they feel very, very good. The cushion on the earmuffs are really, really nice, nice and soft. And you could definitely wear these headphones for at least up to an hour without really getting irritated or anything like that and in terms of frequency response I must say they aren't amazingly flat as well they do have a slight enhance on the bass but other than that they are really nice and clean and you can really hear your sound and stuff like that especially if you are mixing in a home studio environment but I would say these headphones are better for people that are gaming or in a podcast type fashion because with podcasting like I said you can have these on your ears for about an hour and you should be fine and for gaming they're just really really comfortable as well because I know a lot of people game for long periods of time so comfort is a big deal and the overall sound is really really good in terms of additional accessories the Sennheiser HD280 Pros don't really have any but one thing that does set them apart from the rest is their coiled cable which I think is really nice especially if you may be producing at one stage and then you want to put these headphones on a vocalist and have them stand away from your desk and record so it's all stretched out in my opinion I would rather have a coiled cable than have a bag or something like that because I hardly use the bag for my headphones the next headphones that we're going to be looking at that will be great for your setup are the Audio-Technica M50X Studio headphones. And in terms of price, these headphones retail for around $149. If you want the white version, they retail for around $169. And in terms of build quality and overall comfort, these headphones are exceptional. I must say they are still plastic, so they won't last you many years, maybe if you only take really good care of them. But in terms of overall feel and comfort, they do feel super good. 
you can wear these headphones for at least an hour to an hour and a half they still have that slight tight push around the head so maybe after an hour and a half you will start getting irritated and maybe get a headache or something like that but overall these headphones do have a really good comfort type feel and the muffs are really nice and soft as well when looking at frequency and overall sound the audio technica m50x headphones are nice and flat perfect for music production there's no enhancement on the low end or anything like that amazing for mixing as well and the most most popular and best producer in the world currently who produces Billie Eilish's music actually uses a pair of these to mix and produce his music. These are my favorite pair of headphones ever. They're called ATH M50X. They're a pair of Audio Technica headphones. They are great for all purposes, but really, really good for music production and mixing. In terms of additional accessories, these headphones come with three different cables and a bag. One cable is a 1.2 meter to 3 meter coiled cable, one 1.2 meter cable which is perfect for on the go listening, and a 3 meter cable which is perfect for your home studio setup, especially if you need to keep a vocalist away from the desk and the monitors when recording. The next headphones that we're going to be looking at that are great for your setup are the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. And these headphones retail for around $150 to $160 and the reason they're so expensive is because the overall build quality and comfort of these headphones are just a lot better than the previous headphones that we've been looking at. Firstly, having a look at the build quality, you're getting this nice steel frame all the way around, just making these headphones feel a lot more solid and giving you impression that these headphones will last longer than the other headphones that we've been looking at. And in terms of comfort, these headphones are the most comfortable headphones out of all the headphones on this list. The reason being that there's no tightness or squeezing on the head at all, which results in you being able to wear these headphones for at least three to four hours without even noticing that you're wearing headphones. In terms of frequency range and overall sound, the DT770 Pro headphones sound really good. They are nice and flat, perfect for music production, perfect for mixing, especially if you want to hear exactly where your instruments are lying because these headphones really space out sound and instruments so you can hear exactly where they are lying in your mix. But if you are someone that's gaming or podcasting or maybe later on in your mixing process where you want a more overall full sound, these headphones won't give that to you because they really do split up the sound quite a bit. In terms of additional accessories, these Bayer Dynamic headphones don't really come with any. You're pretty much paying for build and sound quality and overall comfort. And the final headphones that we're gonna have a look at that will be great for your setup are the V-Moda M100 Studio headphones. And these headphones retail for around $100 to $200. The reason they're so expensive is because again, you're paying for build quality, you're paying for comfort, and you're paying a little bit more because they do look quite unique. But in terms of build quality, they are very similar to the Bear Dynamic DT770 Pros. They have that nice steel frame all the way around, which just gives you the impression that these headphones are solid and they're gonna last you a long period of time. And in terms of comfort, these headphones do feel amazing. They do have a slight squeeze, which could result in maybe you getting a headache after two or three hours of use. But other than that, these headphones are really soft on the ears, nice and comfortable, and they look really, really good. In terms of frequency response and overall sound, these headphones do sound amazing. They are more for DJs and music production and things like that, because there is a slight enhancement on the low end, meaning you do hear a little bit more bass. But other than that, they are quite flat and really, really perfect for any type of scenario, whether you're gaming or in the studio recording. And in terms of additional accessories, these headphones do come with two different cables, one cable for the studio, one splitting cable, and a nice case, which is perfect for on the go travel. So now it's time for me to help you pick the best headphones for your specific scenario. And if you're on a budget and you can't really buy headphones for more than $70, $80, the Audio Technica M30Xs are for you. They give you everything you need. They aren't as comfortable. They don't have the best sound. Yes, they have extremely long cable and the overall build quality isn't amazing, but for $69, they are definitely the best on the market. In terms of overall build quality and comfort, I picked the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros because these headphones just have an amazing build quality. They are so nice and soft on the ears in terms of comfort. And you can definitely wear these headphones for at least three to four hours without even noticing them on your head. And in terms of best value for money, I have to go with the Audio-Technica ATH M50X Studio headphones 
Due to the fact that they tick all the boxes from having a really good sound to having great build quality, great comfort on the ears, they come with so many accessories and overall you can use them for gaming, podcasting, mixing vocals, recording vocals, music production, you can use these headphones for pretty much anything. But I hope this video helped you pick the best headphones for your specific scenario and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe down below and don't forget to check out my merch, link down below and I will see you for another video next time.